MFIT uh, QS, the, the sleep tracker, and who are you? Uh, I'm Heik Reis, and I'm CEO of MFIT. So uh, what are we looking at here? So yeah, this is our uh, sleep tracker. It goes under the mattress. So the piece here, uh, the long strip goes under the mattress, and it measures ballistocardiogram. So a heart rate, breathing rate, movement activity, tossing and turning. Did you say heart rate, heart breathing rate? Heart rate, breathing rate. And we are the first who does also heart rate variability over the night. So uh, with our device you get the whole night heart rate variability analysis. So uh, for example there's an app here and uh, you, you get some graphs how the sleep was going yeah. and you get the heart rate variability all, all the night. All the night. So uh, let me show uh, on the tablet. Okay. It's, it's very, uh, and can you also explain uh, what kind of sensor do you have inside? Yeah. So the sensor what we use is our own uh, manufacturing. We are manufacturer for uh, 25 years for this sensor. Uh, it's a quasi piezoelectric ferroelectric sensor. Uh, so there's something all the way in here? Yeah. And it feels like some leather. Yeah, there is actually, it's, uh, it, it's, it's kind inside of leather, the leather? Uh, it, inside the leather, yeah. And it just goes under the mattress? Under the mattress, that's correct. You don't, you don't actually sleep on it, it's, it's under the mattress? Yeah. So it doesn't matter how big the mattress is? No, uh, even a thick temper mattress is okay. Any? Uh, yeah, yeah, some users have like 30 centimeter thick temper mattress. And it's still okay, no problem. And then uh, where does it connect and where does it go? Is it Bluetooth? Uh, this is uh, Wi-Fi, so it connects to your home Wi-Fi. And it's uh, all automatic, you don't have to uh, remember to on and off, okay. something like that. Can we check it out? Yeah. What are you showing here? So you're leaving the uh, Okay. Uh, just a second. Uh, just to get an idea of all the data yeah. that can be there. So, so the sleep time, sleep so score? Sleep score, sleep time, sleep classes, uh, including REM sleep, heart rate variability, uh, evening and morning values are right here. So uh, then uh, recovery analysis based on all night uh, heart rate variability analysis. Yeah. Nervous system balance, heart rate, or respiration rate, fluid activity. Uh, let me show a little bit more. Uh, There's a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, this is for example a uh, one night, two night heart rate variability, variability analysis. It's really interesting. So, uh, your company, you have a history of doing this kind of stuff? Yeah, since uh, 1990 actually. 1990? Yeah, the very first uh, Finland. Finland. Yeah. You've been doing this, this stuff since 1990? This stuff actually since 1993. Uh, we decided to develop our own electronics and software since the uh, year 2000. So uh, we've been, uh, we are the biggest manufacturer of epilepsy monitors uh, for people with epilepsy. Uh, and uh, heartbeat detection based beta glucose monitor for elder care. And the sleep tracker we introduced first time a uh, few years ago. Uh, we came actually, we first developed this for hospital use. So uh, how many people have sleep trackers at home? This is a very small percent of, of the world population, right? Currently it is still, yeah, but I it's believe... It's tiny. It's tiny, yeah, today it's tiny, yeah. Which is... Uh, why? Why is it not... Well, it's... it's is uh, it not working good enough for people? Or no. What, or that, they don't know about it? They don't know about it, that's the case, yeah. Uh, this kind of uh, sleep trackers that are uh, invisible under the mattress, automatic, this has been uh, for consumer market just a few years. But uh, if you put it uh, as, as Wi-Fi, then uh, how long is the battery? Are you connected? It's always connected. It's always connected. And does it use a lot of power? Or not very no, small? no, no. That's it's, it's very small number. Of does it not go to sleep mode? When you don't sleep, when you're not there, it just uses less power, or? No, it's it's always very very small. It's it's very small. small. Yeah. All right. So you're planning to take over the whole world with this, right? What's the price for what? Uh, the price is uh, two ninety nine. Uh, two ninety nine dollar. Yeah. Is it uh, some kind of FDA approval and all that stuff? Or no, this is a co consumer product, so uh, this is not considered a uh, medical device. So uh, it's super used for, uh, let's say, healthy persons. Is this already in the market or not yet? This it one? is on the market, yeah. So is it on, in Europe also? Sorry? It's available in Europe? Yeah, uh, in Europe it's available uh, through Amazon. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Amazon? Amazon. 